Hey, Sagittarius, this is Sunny. I'm a psychic medium, and I'm here with your monthly for February 2017. So, while I was meditating for you guys, I saw a lot of images. And just break it all down into one. I feel like there's something in regards to weird mistrust and loyalty. Um, I believe you guys dealt with a similar incident for... um. January I believe I can't really remember but I feel like you know you guys are still questioning somebody's you know loyalty their commitment to you whether this is family friendship relationship co-worker you know whatever the case may be and you guys it's like you're seeing some for some reason some of you you there was something that you was hoping never happen or like it's kind of like worst case scenario you guys were, were playing this in your head and like you know you kept thinking about it you kept thinking about it you kept you kept thinking about it and now it's like you're seeing it actually happen the way you envisioned the way you dreamt it so this may be you know maybe you're catching your partner cheating on you or like you had this feeling that you know you and a best friend or you and a family member was going to get in an argument or something just wasn't going to pan out right an agreement or a commitment isn't panning out right and it's i feel like it's making you guys feel kind of sad but regardless of what's going on you know you guys need to understand your i'm hearing delicacy you can take that you want to um i feel like you know with february being the month of love you guys maybe you're like really focused on love or like trying to make amends with people but i feel like you guys are going to be really emotional this month and like you just don't want any drama like you really don't care <laughs> Um, <laughs> these cards is like what you guys are saying to me some of y'all are like yes i don't want the drama anymore i'm tired of it just know this situation will improve regardless of how it improves whether this person goes out of your life or like you and this person make amends or like whatever the case may be but i feel for some of you you guys need to look for a sign you need to, you know you, no actually you guys received the sign I do. Whatever you've been thinking about, whatever you've been replaying in your head, you know, you guys received a sign for that. And, you know, I feel like it's what you asked for. So, you know, not trying to be funny, there's a sense of accepting it and understanding that you're going to have to accept it. But I believe I said for you guys something in regards to a dog. I can't remember but i also saw a vision of like a little dog like jumping up on your legs so kind of be careful of like you taking care of somebody or somebody taking care of you because i am sensing that that's like it's getting old now like the whole um dependent kind of deal and it's just like okay when you get in your own place like when are you get, gonna get your own car like i just feel like either you or somebody around you i don't really want to say taking advantage of you it may be for some it may be for some like all the way but then it just be like uh like they're seeing that you're offering so they're, they're like okay sure i'll take it um so honestly it just depends i'm reading for a lot of sagittarius but you know, I'm picking up that something is overwelcome now. So either you need to nip this in the bud or you need to, you know, find a way to be more independent if you are the one relying on somebody. But let's see. Important message for Sagittarius is for February 2017. A year from now. Really interesting. So there may be a situation um that will come to the light a year from now or like maybe you guys will get back on your feet within a year or like things are just going to seem like much better within a year and i said this for the um 
Scorpios. No, 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 I didn't. I said this for the Libras. So some of you guys may be dealing with a Libra or you have Libra in your chart, whatever the case may be, um, where they need to prepare themselves now because whatever they set into motion now will go into full effect within a year. So, you know, just be mindful of that. So whatever you do, it's going to come back to you. It's going to improve or it's going to decline <laughs> within a year. So just be mindful of what you're focusing on. Okay, if you're focusing on the drama, you're going to get more drama. If you're focusing on self-improvement, that's what you that's what you're going to get. Cuz I feel like a lot of you like you just you want better for yourself. And like maybe you know you're thinking like, "Oh, I'm going to have my company. You know, I want to do this. I want to, you know, be a manager." Okay, but are you taking the proper steps to be that manager? Are you taking the proper steps to get your own business? Are you taking the proper steps to find love? Whatever the case may be, like, just make sure you're putting in the action, all right? That song by Wiz Khalifa. I think work hard, play hard is playing in my head. <laughs> so, yeah, you guys, work hard, play hard. All right, so let's see. What's going on from my Saggies? My Saggies, Saggies. 4 February 2017. I don't know why I'm picking up something in regards to prediction. I don't know if you guys predicted something to happen or somebody predicted something for you and it's coming true. But like there's this really big vibe in regards to like just foretelling for some reason there's a card these two cards kind of did some flip stuff no the angels are like put it back in the deck okay i am picking up you guys kind of want to get out of a contract or there's some sort of property matter that isn't working out in your favor anymore or like maybe you guys don't have the money for the type of apartment or home that you want I feel like there's some issue with contracts in regards to property uh, real estate um, or finances let me see what's going on for Sagittarius for February 2017 I'm hearing I want to own my own so you guys are showing up in the upright really interesting and I feel like oh right, okay okay there's going to be an issue with somebody being a bit into themselves. You can take that how you want to. I, as soon as I saw this card, I was like, okay, they're in the upright. But then I got this feeling of, oh, no. Okay. Be careful of, like, testosterone. <laughs> okay. Um, or, like, a lot of estrogen. Because there's just going to be an issue with just somebody just being full of i don't want to say anger but like just just full of it i hate to say and i feel like this may be in regards to my male fire signs um because to me sometimes the ace of wands represents the penis <laughs> um and i feel like there's a lot of pride for my of uh, my sagittarius men now this may be in regards to another fire sign aries Leo, sagittarius um but you have other fire elements within your chart but i feel like um and also this would be for my women uh, if you have masculine energy within you but there's this really big vibe of wanting to get ahead wanting to be heard i feel like this month is going to be very sexual for a lot of you maybe you're going to be really really horny um but you guys is i'm seeing this like you're looking elsewhere in regards to property maybe there's talks of moving um getting a new job but i'm picking up that there's new adventure that you want to explore but at the same time i'm getting there's this fear there's this fear of not doing the right thing or constantly moving there's constant change and I feel like you guys like change, but at the same time, too much change can get kind of nerve-wracking. Because I, I do feel like you guys kind of want to settle down with the judgment being in reverse. It's just like it's always happening. There's, there's never an end to something. And I just feel like you guys want 
things to finalize and now this may be in regards to property um or maybe you know somebody wants to put an end to something i'm getting the message of in regards to relationships there may be an issue with either you or your party or maybe you and your friends co-workers whatever the case may be these are general readings where you guys aren't on the same page and I'm picking up like there's an issue with like not understanding each other like just nothing is like going right right now um this person they may have water element uh cancer pisces and scorpio but i feel like this may be their sign but this is more of their emotions like maybe they aren't happy or they they just have a lot of stress going on um maybe this is somebody who's really close in like they're very fixed i don't know why the angels are telling me to look up fixed signs for some reason because i can't remember offhand all right so fixed signs are taurus leos um, Scorpios and Aquarius. Now you guys may be dealing with those elements. Um, now I don't want to say they may be stubborn. <laughs> they may be stubborn, but I feel like this person, they're just, they're comfortable with them and with maybe, you know, you guys being together or you guys having some sort of tie. There's just like, they don't like changes that you're doing or you don't like the changes that they're doing. And it's just like, okay, when is it going to end? When is it going to end? Or when are we going to put this, like our relationship, whatever the case would be, to an end? Um, I'm here to tell you, like, I'm not going to lie to you. This is going to be very difficult because you guys are very difficult people. Not like Sagittarius, but I mean like both of y'all. <laughs> you and whoever you're dealing with are very difficult. These two cards pop out. And I feel like there's somebody who's like, they're kind of in the back and they're just like, you know what? I'm just not going to say anything anymore because it feels like this person isn't understanding where I'm, where I'm coming from. There's a lot of false felons not being honest, like holding a lot in. And I wouldn't be surprised if somebody like maybe doing the silent treatment. Like, whoever this is holding a lot in, honestly, be careful because this may blow up. Like, this person, like, may be fed up to the point where they just blow up, okay? Um, so, the, and then there's a lot going on with that. So, like, do be careful of, like, your tolerance with people and, like, what's going on with them because some of you like you may be dealing with somebody who just takes their anger out on you and you're just like i didn't mess up your day i just asked you hey can you wash the dishes can you wash the clothes or you know how are you doing how's your wife like i just asked you that simple question and you're like you're blowing up on me so i'm hearing like just let it roll off your back to be honest but i am seeing how you guys are like gonna let it affect you I hate to say i do feel like communication is going to be kind of weird um for this month unfortunately and <sighs> there may be a situation where okay i'm getting the energy of either somebody is in denial or somebody is reading too much into what somebody said or into like a particular conversation like whatever they said just let it be what it is i do feel like regardless with the two of swords also to me the two of swords do represent truth but um i do feel like you know there's going to be some truth within a situation now it may not be how you expected it this person they may show truth with their actions you know they they may tell you yeah i love you but they aren't around you they don't call you they don't come by to see you so just be mindful of people's actions like they can say all day long this and that but you know proof is in the pudding to me in regards to actions and i do feel like you know for some of you now you guys are showing up in reverse and now you're showing up as a page i do feel like you know you guys may have started this month with like you know maybe a lot of energy or like kind of full of yourselves or like just 
just really ready to take charge or ready to defend yourself but you know i do feel like there's going to be unfortunately some sort of sadness with you guys being aware of something that didn't go your way i hate to say and some of you there may be a situation where you feel like two sizes small but regardless honestly you guys, you shouldn't let this situation affect you. Even, even though I'm the outside looking in, you know, you guys are living this situation and this is your, your card and you're showing up in the reverse. It's like, I just keep hearing you guys say, I didn't expect this or I didn't want this. Okay. If there is a fight that happens um, late January, early February, it can be prevented. I'm picking up a strong vibe that it can be prevented, honestly. But it's in regards to self-control. That's really all you can do. There may even be a fight with money. Okay. Um... Maybe even over like children, pregnancy, uh, maybe even in regards to an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Um, this may be their sun and moon and other rising, and you may have this energy in your chart as well. Um, but regardless, you know, I do feel like it can be prevented with self-control and just honestly understanding your morals. Understanding what's important. Don't belittle yourself just because you want to like this person maybe you know saying some mean shit about you so what so what don't stoop down to that person's level don't because this person you know they may feel not trying to be funny they may feel like a loser they may not be happy with themselves don't let their anger get you down this person, you know, they may say all kinds of bad stuff about you. Is it true? If it's not true, don't react off of it. Okay? Don't don't even do that to yourself. Somebody call you a bitch? So what? <laughs> so what? It is what it is. But also, with the Five of Pentacles um, in reverse, I do feel like you guys are going to get out of some sort of hot water in regards to your finances. There's going to be some sort of help. I don't know if you guys are going to try to receive a loan or if there's going to be somebody willing to help you or vice versa. Whatever the case may be, these are general readings. But I do feel like there's going to be some sort of help. But you guys... um. I do feel like also with the five of pentacles i'm getting the energy of many of you are just going to have to go out there and get it because upright the five of pentacles represents like there's help to me this is like a church window and there's help around you but while i'm seeing this in reverse it's just like no you have to get it yourself Maybe you have to talk to somebody about a loan instead of getting your wife or your girlfriend to do it, a boyfriend, husband, whatever the case may be. Like, you need to apply for that job instead of having your friends, you know, see if they're hiring. Like, you are going to have to do it. You are going to have to be that change. Honestly. Um, so, honestly, you know, be careful of you or somebody around you playing this victim mentality. I'm getting the energy of feeling as if you're going to get kicked out. Like maybe like there's fear of like being behind on rent or being behind on a bill. And like there's this sense of being kicked out, not feeling like feeling as if you don't belong. Um, this may be like in regards to a group. Like you don't feel like you belong in a particular group. And it's just like, you know, like. Hey, you just don't get along with these people like they don't make sense to you um and there may be some sadness like especially like if you're new on the job or like if you just started school in a different area whatever the case may be like you know it makes you feel out of your element i feel like you guys are going to be out of your element on purpose in order for your divine god and angels to really see 
if you're willing to maintain it or if you're willing to like change it some way somehow in order for you to make yourself comfortable um if you guys are having a weird fear of being kicked out i feel like um there's gonna like you guys will be okay whether you know you have to like stay with a friend or like your landlord gives you like a couple days to like you know get the rent money whatever the case may be or you know i feel like you know you guys are going to be protected in that sense to be honest you guys are going like you guys will be okay I'm also picking up like second source of income that may help you. This may be, you know, with a spouse or maybe a friend wants to help you. Um, you got, it may be that loan. Um, you guys may magically win the lottery, whatever the case may be. But I do feel like, honestly, there is going to be some sort of help. Like, try your best not to worry about it, to be honest. I'm getting the energy of courageous. You guys are going to have to fight. But just be mindful of how you fight. Like, don't fight by belittling people and putting them in their place, per se. Fight with your actions. Show your boss or show your manager that, like, hey, I deserve this position. Or, hey, I deserve to be here. Show your landlord, like, hey, I am capable enough to give you, you know, your month's rent. Whatever the case may be. Um, hell, show your partner, hey, I, I can change for you but you're gonna have you're gonna have to keep doing it you can't just do it for like seven days seven weeks and then go back to your past place it's not gonna happen okay but i do feel like you know you guys don't let the haters don't let the doubters get to you because honey they are there they are there and I just feel like you know you guys are just letting stuff get to you and you shouldn't um i do feel like there may be some issue in regards to bipolarness going on i hate to say um where some of you is just like maybe your mood changes a lot or you may be dealing with somebody who has this sort of condition not trying to be funny some of you guys may be dealing with a gemini this may be their um sun and moon and a horizon or you know you have this energy in your chart but I honestly feel like there's this big energy of standing up for you, but just making sure that you are respecting yourself and others at the same time. Honestly, I feel like, you know, financially it's going to be okay. I do feel like you guys are going to receive some help, you know, but you know, the weird thing is you guys kind of being out of your element some way, somehow. okay now let's see what's going on for career Sagittarius give me insight upon their career for February 2017 give me three cards what's going on for Sagittarius's career for February 2017 three cards uh shop I'll say the Emperor and the Prince forgive the strength upright. Oh, I, I did say the emperor. Wow. Um, the emperor in reverse. The death upright. I do feel like there's going to be some sort of change happening for you guys. You may not like this change or others around you may not like this change. But I do feel like you guys, there's an energy of wanting a sense of power. Some of you guys, I hate to say this, but you may have to back down from a position or you feel like it's going to be best for you to like not accept a particular um, position due to there being a lot of hate, due to there being like due to you like just not seeing yourself there for a long time. I just feel like, you know, you guys are very hard workers and you came into this situation knowing that you were going to have your hands full knowing that like this was more than you bargained for to be honest and i feel like there's a sense of not feeling appreciated you know like you're doing all this hard work and nobody is appreciating you especially if you have like aries in your chart for some reason um there's an aries energy that doesn't feel appreciated or maybe um there's somehow mars will be in effect 
uh because to me the aries represents mars um and mars is known as like the god of war power and um i don't, I don't i'm not really into astrology like that anymore so i'm not really sure what's going on um if you know i guess comment below but um yeah i am also picking up you know where there may be an issue in regards to the manager like maybe like the manager doesn't see potential in you i just feel like there's a lot of hate there's like unwanted hate and you guys don't deserve that and i do feel like or you guys are just overwhelmed by everything and like you feel like you aren't appreciated you feel like you aren't being paid enough and i do see where some of you may quit okay or you may just honestly make the best out of a tricky situation I am picking up like there's a lot of egos. Egos are yes, e egos are ruining shit. I hate to say. So you guys may be dealing. I'm picking up a Pisces male. Um, there's like a big male influence. Not no offense. Um, to me, Pisces males, they're very similar to the Aries. Like they're they're bold. You know, they like to be first. They like to talk about their accomplishments. Like if some if they feel like somebody's overpowering them or whatever the case would be, they will try their best to um, belittle them or they do some petty stuff by like not talking to them more. Just like saying some lo like throwing low key shade. And I feel like this is what's going on. Now, this may also be a Pisces female who has masculine energy. But, you know, I feel like, honestly, you guys are doing what you need to do. You are. But I do feel like there's more behind the scenes. Every time I see the Nine of Cups, yes, this is a beautiful card. Don't get me wrong. This is the Wish card. But this curtain always felt odd to me. Like, there's something underneath this curtain. And I feel like there's somebody who's very boastful, who has a lot to hide. Now, this would be you or somebody around you, but, you know, I feel like you guys do deserve more. And some of you guys will understand that and you just may be like, look, I'm going to look elsewhere. You, you may find a new job in March. Hell, maybe within the third week of February. But you guys are like, yeah, I'm gone. Definitely. But the two of pentacles. Oh, two of pentacles. Wow. So there may be like a second source of income. You guys may have a main job. And then you may like look for another job. Um, But with the two of wands, excuse me. Yes, you guys are understanding your potential. And you're looking elsewhere. You're thinking about, okay, the bigger picture. Especially with the world right here. You're thinking about, you know, what there's more than this freaking job right here. And I'm not happy with it at all. Alright, let's see. The outcome of February 2017 for my Saggy books. My Saggies. Alright. February 2017. The outcome for Sagittarius. First card on the top. nice traffic success this is the ace of swords and i feel like you know you guys are <laughs> um that song oh my god that gospel song i'm going up a yonder to be with my lord i know that's like crazy um maybe you guys are getting into like medieval games or like in the whole like medieval time era who knows but like maybe you know you guys are listening to your divine god and angels there may be not trying to be funny there may be a death that helps you realize you know what's going on with your life and that you need to get your life back on track in regards to like you know believing in god or whatever the case would be these are general readings okay not trying to offend anybody but you know i do feel like you guys are looking for truth and you just want to be led down the right path but honestly you guys it's going to be best if you do this on your own okay interesting because i said the similar message for the scorpios hope you guys enjoyed this reading good luck with everything and i shall be back for march bye